Okay, to begin, we're going to select the circle tool and lay an even circle onto the canvas. Then let's align the circle to the center. I'm gonna make it a little bigger and now we're gonna duplicate the circle and reduce the size about right there and then duplicate it again and reduce the size a little bit more. Your uh, dimensions don't have to be exact, mine aren't. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm going to select the star tool and put a star on the canvas and undo that because it has too many sides. I'm going to reduce it to five and try to see what radius three looks like. Too small. I'm going to put it back. And there we have it. There's our star. And I'm going to rotate it so that way it's pointing straight up and try to align the star to the center of my circles right there in between the first two circles. I'm going to use a copy tool and have the, co the, the star um, uh, fill the uh, circumference of the circles like so. So we're going to move the copy tools um, anchor point to the center of the circles open the copy tool properties and and we're going to increase the copies to 22 let's do 22 and there you have it you should have stars circling the entire circumference of the circles like so now from here let's select the most innermost circle and duplicate that and reduce the size just a little bit, just a hair. And from there, we're going to select the rectangle tool. And let's put a rectangle in the center. Make sure it's overlapping the innermost circle, and let's align it to the center. And then from there, just the rectangle tool selected, the rectangle selector, we're going to select the path builder tool. And we're just going to cut out the rectangle um, where the innermost circle is, and then we're just going to go ahead and delete that innermost circle. So you should have something like this. From there, what we're going to do is we're going to use the Vector Ink Chrome extension. I'm in flaticon.com. I'm going to grab a bicycle. Um, and generally, you don't want to do this for commercial uses. All right, this is just for mocking up. All right. I'm going to activate the extension. I'm going to select the bike and you do import SVG using the Vector Ink Chrome extension. That's going to bring the bike right into my Vector Ink project, like so. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to go and grab an axe. I want to get a pair of axes. There we go. And again, for legal purposes, do not use this for commercial uses. Use it for mocking up. Use it for ideas. Right, it's great for mocking up and ideas, and when you're ready for a commercial project, then go about it the right way. So I'm going to add some text in the middle of this badge logo here. I'm just going to call it badge logo and try to get it right there centered into my badge like so. And then I'm going to change my color palette out. And I think that one, that one's the one. I'm going to go ahead and give it some color. So, yeah, the, the Vector Ink Chrome extension comes in handy when you want to import um, SVGs, right? SVG versions of silhouette images into the Vector Ink project. Um, and, and all it's going to do is basically run the SVG tracer. It's a, just a shortcut for importing an image and running the SVG tracer on it. It's good for importing images, importing color palettes. It's a very convenient tool. I highly recommend you um, install it on Chrome. I'm going to go ahead and color these stars, the, this yellowish color here. I'm going to remove the strokes and color all these stars. The same color and ta-da, there you have it. So that is how we use Vector Ink, the Vector Ink Chrome extension 
and the copy tool to create a batch logo. 